<laughs> hey, look, so, <laughs> so today I'm in a restaurant, right? We're not the restaurant, the little hip hop chicken joint. And uh, I see this guy, he's talking to this girl. And hold on, I want you to hear this. Talking to this girl. And he's real nice. You can tell he's clean cut, got a job, speaks well. The good guy, right? So he's talking to her. And I think everything's going wild. I'm like, damn, man. I wish I could find somebody nice. I mean, just listen to me or whatever. That, the exchange of the numbers went good. Then he walks out. And a girl turns to a girl and said, oh, gump ass nigga. Oh, that's fucked up. So I see it. You know me. I can't. I can't. I, at this point, I can't mind my business. I was, and I tell her, I say, yo, that's real fucked up, yo. She said, hey, won't you mind your business? I said, first of all, first of all, it's not my business. But look here, you honeycomb hideout looking motherfucker. If you don't want nobody, don't play with them, right? She goes off. Listen, she bad as shit. <laughs> She's like, mind your motherfucking business with that, <laughs> with that rap on your head. I said, oh, you talking about my rap. Here we go. I said, what about my rap? I said, listen. I said, all I'm saying to you is be nice to people. Mind your business. Fuck you. I, I, <laughs> that's what she said. I bet you got bumps going all down the middle of your head. <laughs> ah! I said, oh, shit, my fuck is on. I said, look here, your teeth got teeth behind each other. Hi, how the fuck you got four front teeth? <laughs> she was mad. I mean, she was fucking living. So her girlfriend puts her hands in her head. She's like, oh, my God, her name's Treasy. <laughs> she said, oh, my God, Treasy, stop. Nah, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. I said, look here. I said, look here, you cricket body shape motherfucker. You got the wrong one. Dude seen something nice in you, and there you go. Just like you motherfuckers are find a good dude, but don't want him, and you want something trashy. See, that's the problem, right? Most of y'all want something good, but really don't. You want that hood nigga that can't speak, that smell like weed, that smoke weed all motherfucking day, play PlayStation, ain't contributing shit, don't really like you, just want to fuck you for the fakeness that you are. The girl had all these long ass lashes, long nails, big titties, small waist, fat butt, all that shit's fake, and underneath all that shit, you just an ordinary ass girl, right? So this time, I told her all that. She gets... Mad as a motherfucker Started taking her earrings off Now I'm from the old school That means we're getting ready to fight I said you gonna fight me She's like Treasy Treasy I said don't tell Jack of the Beanstalk Shit She was real big too I said you look like An upside down refrigerator She was mad as a motherfucker With all the shit inside Spilled out So I'm going at her Pushing every motherfucking button And the Indian man in there That works at the hip hop chicken And clearly there No don't do it Don't do it <laughs> This motherfucker said Don't do it Don't do it don't do it, don't do it. I said, Treasy, don't do it. He said, no, Treasy, don't do it. <laughs> no, listen, I'm not trying to laugh, but this shit is fucking hilarious. All she kept doing was saying, fuck that rap, fuck that rap. I don't know, this must irritate a lot of motherfuckers, right? So the dude that left out, I guess he's coming back for his receipt, and he walks in on it. Woo! I said, hey, dude. We talking about you. He was like, excuse me? Real nice guy. She was like, uh, I said, nah, call him a gump. You told him it was a gump. Why don't you give me his number back? Give me his number back. I said, she called you. I told. I, I'm a snitch. I told. I said, dude, she called you a gump. She's talking shit about you when you left. That's fucked up. He was like, did like, he was like, for real, yo? And she was like, whatever. Don't listen to this motherfucker. And I said, man, I tell you what. He was like, saying, don't do it. Don't do it. And when I called her Treasy, I said, Treasy, you got the wrong motherfucking one. He said, don't listen to him, 3 G. <laughs> oh! oh, oh! So anyway, dude's feelings was hurt. My feelings were hurt for him. But here's the point. I want to get to the real moral of this story. As long as you girls, right, want less, stop acting like you want the best. Stop acting like all niggas is trash. Because all niggas ain't. All niggas ain't fucked up. But here's the you blow off good niggas when you get a sense of that good shit ain't weak. We good motherfuckers. We not one thing was for damn sure is we not weak because we done been through a whole bunch of shit. All we want is somebody nice, somebody, somebody nice. And half y'all, not all y'all, because there's some really nice, beautiful women out here. It's women out here that deserve somebody good. But them women don't trust men because half you niggas ain't shit. So it's both ways. Half you niggas ain't shit. Half y'all ain't got shit. Half you motherfuckers don't want to give shit. Half of you motherfuckers think you are the shit when you're not. Half of you motherfuckers can't even spell bad motherfucker. There's no fucking F in Southeast. And this shit right here from some of you girls. Hold on, let me see how y'all do it. Girl, there it is. That bullshit. I can't stand that shit. Girl. 
That shit irritates the shit out of me. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Some of you guys are fucked up, right? And for you girls that put on that Halloween ass shit that you walk around and thinking you the shit and doing all these little Instagram posts like you going on vacation here. Some of y'all are. Bring that serious. Doing pics and acting all glamorous, taking pictures behind motherfucking shit like you at the awards and you standing next to real motherfucking celebrities. We are basic motherfuckers underneath all this shit, right? Okay? Some of you motherfuckers need to be taking pictures of the real shit and you wouldn't have all the motherfucking likes and motherfuckers thinking you are what you are. I know. I read people. That's what I do. And you niggas that think y'all like that, at the most, at the most, you ain't this big. At the most. And that's why women don't want to fuck with you because all y'all out for, and I'm saying this to the ladies, all they want, half of them is some ass. You dress like that. And then you get mad when a nigga come at you. I'm, I'm good. I don't need no man. It's because you look like a fucking man underneath all that shit. And you guys, y'all motherfuckers make it bad. You know, I hate to hear men ain't shit. I don't give a fuck who said it. I'm going to correct them. Nigga, you, first of all, you can't say that. That's like saying all women's trash. No. All men are not fucked up. There's some good guys out here. There's some good guys out here that some of you women made bad. How about that shit? Like, I've never called a woman a bitch. In all my posts, in all my shit, I've never called a woman a bitch ever. Never. If I call a woman a bitch, you done done, you done, you done shot at me and hit me with a bullet. But that's how y'all act. And I'm going to tell you, you can wear all the makeup. You can wear all the motherfucking red bottoms you want. You can wear the highest price shit, drive the nicest shit. But if your inside of you is ugly, your ass is ugly. And this goes for men too. All right? Just don't think you can grow a beard, nigga, and you like that. What the, the fuck that come from? Some of y'all dating these niggas and look like buck. Look like balled up dead motherfucking ferrets. And they get a beard way the fuck out here. Oh, hey, that's my boo. <laughs> ah! Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my man Thaddeus Green. Good motherfucker with a big beard. Clean nigga, got a good job. Thought about Thaddeus. That is, I, I'm starting to think that you the real beard nigga. You brought the beard out, dog. But anyway... <laughs> Shout out to the good guys, man, and the good girls. Remember, and don't think this natural shit. Some of y'all go natural. I'm like, yeah, I had to go natural because I'm I want to get into my mother earth. No, you're going natural because all them tracks fucked your head up, killed your edges, and now you're forced to go natural. We was the natural motherfuckers back in the day with the two puff balls and the braids, real pretty, and have a whole bunch of lipstick on with that black line around here. That shit is dumb. All they had on was some lip gloss, sucking on a blow pop from 7-Eleven. That shit drove me crazy. Like it. Don't think because you a red bone, you're automatically cute. Some of you motherfuckers look like the curb where you can't park. And you niggas, don't think because you got dreads, you cute. Some of y'all's dreads smell like washcloths that you left in the motherfucking washing machine over the weekend and forgot to dry them properly. I'm in that ass. Talk about everybody. Fuck your dog too. <laughs> Fuck him. Little ass dogs y'all carrying around Think that's gonna make you look even better In a little Fendi motherfucking carrier The fuck does a dog need a Fendi carrier from? <laughs> she said fuck my rap You got bumps down the middle <laughs> Anyway I'm gone man Yeah that's the bad guy And your ass has just been checked No sonny Damn 